In June 9, 2023 a study entitled, Taurine Deficiency as a Driver of Aging has been published in Science. The study investigated the impact of an amino acid, taurine, on health and longevity, across various animal models. With the findings indicating that restoring age-related taurine loss, through supplementation improves longevity and health span in animal models. Later, Dr. Sinclair tweeted the study, and he expressed his opinion in a New York Times article. Dr. Sinclair said he had dabbled with taurine in the past. But based on the new paper, he said he would likely add high doses of taurine to his regimen, with regular blood testing for possible side effects. My caution and heartfelt concern, really, is that people will just take it and not monitor their bodies, he said. Let's hear Dr. Sinclair says about taurine and his dosage, in one of his recent interview. The taurine, taurine is a semi-essential amino acid <laughs> that we need for sure when we're babies, but we start to make it when we're older. Some animals don't make taurine like a cat. Now, what has been published recently, it was in the news and I tweeted about it, was that um, so taurine's being found uh, high doses, uh, typically around two to five grams a day, high dose, lowers blood pressure, improves cardiovascular health, improves the lipids, um, and, uh, and seems to improve blood pressure as well. This is all great, right? Sounds like anti-aging to me. Because you can find it in sports drinks and energy drinks, but it's, it's pretty low concentration usually. Now, this amino acid was shown in the science paper from last week to when you give it to mice, they have a lot of health benefits that are similar to what I just described in humans. And they even gave it to monkeys and found that their health improved. But the big deal was that those mice lived, um, it was, by my recollection, I think it was 12 to 16 percent longer i'll check on that but it was it was a significant extension of lifespan which is a big deal because if it had a negative side effect they probably wouldn't have lived longer and so um i think taurine is super interesting the thing that confuses me and the literature right now and scientists is taurine is found in meat right and taurine is also known to activate mTOR yeah. seems to provide longevity despite activating mTOR and so this is going to you know spark a debate discussion with the carnivores, of course, you can buy taurine on the internet. Make sure it's a supplier that sells clean, pure, GMP-grade taurine. I'm currently taking uh, two grams a day and to see how that works with me. That's a pretty high dose. I'll measure myself. I'll report back. Um, as always, you want to measure yourself in case there's any negative side effects. You want to make sure it's benefiting you as well. Otherwise, it's a waste of time and money.